Thank you, Kevin. And now to entertainment news and Rick's reviews. Seventeen's expert, Rick Bentley, joins us now. Um, and there aren't a lot of movies coming out this weekend, but you have some things for us to watch um, streaming or on TV. Yeah, the funny thing is we've been hearing all the predictions about this year and, and movies was going to be down. And if January is any, any indication, that's right. I mean, last week's ISS was a B-O-M-B. And so now we have this week where there were no new movies opening at all. So I'm now turning back to what we used to watch in television. There are two really good series that are coming up. The one I really like is uh, called Feud, Capote versus the Swans. And basically what this is is a story of how Truman Capote worked his way into high society back in the late 60s and early 70s by, by uh, making friends with a lot of socialites until he wrote this article for Esquire that really pulled back the curtain on all of them, then they turned on him. So the, the, the whole series, the eight-part series, deals with uh, the sort of rise and fall of Capote. What I love about this is, this is a, a made-for-cable series because it's gonna be on FX and then Hulu the next day, but the cast is amazing. You've got uh, Demi Moore, you've got Calista Flockhart, you've got Diane Lane, you've got, uh, I mean, you, some of the top names uh, that you would normally see in films. So this is a really good, good tale. I recommend that. Also coming up is the, uh, is the uh, Netflix series called Griselda. Now, Griselda Blanco was a, uh, a mobster in the 70s, and she was very vicious. I mean, she ruled the world with an iron fist until eventually they caught her and sent her off to prison. It, it fell to Sofia Vergara, who you'll know from Modern Family, to play her. And Vergara went through a lot of makeup checks to try to find out you know, how to look to play this character. Now I I love the uh, I love the Capote sh film uh, series enough to give it a B a B plus. I'm going to ding the Griselda a little bit because back in uh, 2017, Lifetime did this movie with Catherine Zeta Jones in the lead role, so we've kind of seen this, and so I'm going to only give it a B. But since you, there are no movies out there to go see, if you fall into either one of these, I'm telling you, you're going to find something you really enjoy. That's great. I, I find myself looking for new things um, when there's not movies and whatnot. So this is these are some great recommendations. Yeah, uh, and again, I'm I'm still stunned by the fact that Capote. I mean, Tom Hollander plays Capote. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Capote was such a flamboyant character. Anybody who's tried to play him, you have to be very careful because if you push too much, it goes over the top. But Hollander does a great job. He really sort of makes. Capote more human than I've seen in a lot of other times people trying to play him. But then you surround him with some great actresses and you've got a, you've got a winner on your hands. Okay, and how can we watch Capote? Capote is going to debut on FX on July, uh, I'm sorry, January 31st, be available on Hulu the next day. And then uh, right now Griselda is on Netflix. It just launched on Netflix. Okay, and that's a series so you kind of need to binge watch. Type yeah, I mean, that's the great thing <laughs> about, about the, you know, streaming services. You can watch one, you can watch two, you can watch them all at once. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, great. Except for it's going to be nice this weekend, so you don't want to stay indoors. <laughs> well, some of us do. I mean, okay. there, there's also football. Oh, <laughs> good point. Good yep. point. All right. Thank you so much, Rick.